Here we go, game one. We're still best two out of three, but the next set we have is going to be best three out of five. That's going to be winner's finals. Oh my goodness, the final boss music is on. <laughs> Midnight Carnival. All right, nice opening here by uh, Fahadoka, and it uses the Dolphin to make uh, Cerberus not able to jump out. But we've seen Cerberus come back from worse, so let's see what happens here. Nice just guards here, but not able to really get much out of it. Jumps out immediately, forcing the PRC. Ooh, really smart there to hit before the beach ball, completely using it to block his low from view. Oh, <laughs> Fadoken going a little bit crazy here. Uses a slide RC to stop Cerberus' approach. The 6H. Waiting for the dash in. That was definitely somebody who knows his opponent very, very well. And probably nobody knows e each other as well as these two do from, from anybody that I've played Guilty Gear with. Well, that was almost inch perfect there, but almost isn't good enough. There's the 5H anti-air. Which way? Just steps back with the stance K. Stance P that time for an anti-air. YRC's in order to be able to chase after the tech. There's the beach ball. Big counter hit here. It's going to be able to end Senga. Just barely. Leo's big frame really assisting May there. Eisenstorm. RC. And he's going to seek for him into the corner. Mix up time. Oh, he annoys him into trying to attack back. <laughs> Definitely another personal play here. Cerberus knows what he was trying to do with that. It isn't about being optimal. It is about getting the mental advantage right now. And that is what these two are doing back and forth. But it's definitely come a long way from the days where Fahadokan would just completely get destroyed by Cerberus as he was still learning. The 5Ks, nice backdash, but wasn't able to get enough distance to counter poke the 5 uh, Leo's own 5H there. Has to go out of stance and then YRC with himself behind a projectile there. Nice usage of the far slash, but again, Leo gets in. Nice backdash, YRC. Uh, rarely see an option, but it can be pretty effective. Oh, beach ball. Sets it up right up close to him. That was really risky. Oh my goodness. Yep, he knew. He knows that a 5H not canceled into anything basically equals a free throw. Leo can't really do much off of that situation at close range. I just threw him blocked, and that's all of his tension. Uh, but he could have continued into something off that wall stick. Too scared of Eisenstorm or, or a gold burst or something. And there's the opportunity. Is forced to burst. Slide. Oh my goodness. The courage on this man. Eisenstorm, which way? 6k, I, I believe that's plus on block, just as Vikings was. It is basically the same. He tried to get out, but Cerberus did not care, finished his Rekkas. He would have been so unsafe on that on block, but that was exactly the point. It would have been a bad idea, so Fahadokan did not expect it. And again, a decent opener for Fahadokan here. Goes again, right into that Oki once more. Oh, he went for for the command grab. Was a, a little bit too fast there. Blocks the overhead. Oh, my goodness. The burst is baited. But never mind. Cerberus doesn't continue his combo. And is forced to burst right back. Overhead lands that time. And the overdrive. This leads to massive damage. One more mix-up. Nice YRC there to try to trick him up. But Cerberus too alert. And he's all of a sudden on set point. After looking like he was behind we definitely learned against Madura Sake not to count Cerberus out but he ended up losing that set all right Fadoken here nice nice start he's gonna go for that cross up dolphin loop all oh, messes up the second dolphin oh my goodness the beefy frame trap look at all that damage from Leo right now after building up at just a little bit of risk and now the risk is flashing white once more. Blitz charge sticks him to the wall, but oh my goodness, that was an input error there by Cerberus. Oh, 
Oh, he went for the Dolphin. The, the projectile YRC, though, putting May back in the corner with this combo. Hadouken's trying to find his opportunity. He's jumping. He's nervous. There's the beach ball. Manages to use 5K to keep his space. Really crucial. Oh, went for the cross-up. That was so risky. Burst baited, but no conversion from Cerberus. Fadoken has one more chance. Oh, punishes the Conchilda with slide. And Fadoken lives for at least one more round. Just one more attack there. Manages to overhead Fahad, but not much of a conversion from Cerberus. He's in now. Air throws him into the corner. Makes up. Ooh, good jump, but no conversion on the combo. Still managed to at least get out of the mix-up. Lands the beach ball on him, but it was too far for a conversion, or at least was too slow to convert. There's the Eisenstorm RC. Puts him in the corner. Is this Hadouken's last stand? No, he manages to sweep his way out on the gap and, and that pressure. Her treats behind the beach ball. Smart play. Chases him. There's that backdash, but that situation, Leo is going to recover faster, so trying to hit a button is going to be wor worse off for him. Beats the counter again. Uses the jump dust to switch up the anti-air timing on him. Smart play. Stuck in stance. Uses the con shield to, to deflect the beach ball and stop the dolphin at the same time. Oh my goodness. Crucial PRC. All the meters done now, but Cerberus does have a gold burst on deck if he wants to try using it. That's caught trying to jump in again. Padokan has been doing a good job of anti-airing using the animals and the beach balls. Nice cross up, and here's his opportunity again. Projectile YRC. Oh, can he get him? There it is, jumps on the beach ball that time. The one mix-up he hadn't tried yet kept it for just the right time. 1-1. One, one. <coughs> Can Fahadokan add another first-time tournament victory to the one he did on me today? That remains to be answered. Again, Fahadokan with a slight advantage on the start. 6P, but again, Cerberus' conversions on anti-air hits have not been as strong as they need to be. It's, uh, the lightweight of May might be tripping him up a little bit, but he plays this matchup more than most, so he should know. Oh, there it is. Frame Trap used the late hit 5K there. Went for the full Blitz Charge. That is plus on block, but again, the jump at just the right time by Fahadokan. Hits him to the other side of the screen of that Dolphin. That was a little bit ill-advised. The Oki situation was working out for him much better. Oh, gets out with two with two P. Shoutouts to Wolf. I know he loves that. Oh my goodness, the Oki very slowly chipping away at his health. Badokan has found how he wants to do this. There's the Conchildo that causes the beach ball to disappear. Rough situation here. Can he get out that angle? Smart play, smart play. And he goes in behind those beach balls again. No, the counter hit. Fadoken. Is that it for him? Blitz charge, and he gets out again. One more chance. Cerberus is going to be trying to get in. He doesn't have any tension. Chip damage is going to become a factor here. Oh, he managed to hit his way out. Is that Fadoken? Yes. Set point for Fadoka, and he's jumping for his life. Oh my goodness, gets him on the far slash. He's going to be able to convert it to Insenga here. Big damage. And he has the Oki in the corner to boot. Oh, the air throw. Really smart play. Caught that jump. Oh no, Cerberus' anti-jump mix-up not ready. And that he knows he should need that, especially with how much Fadoken has been taken to the air. This might be the end of the set. We're almost there. One more Oki situation. He still has his burst, though. Oh, the burst just there to prevent the win. Is that going to be it? Oh, Cerberus. Burst by Fadoken. He knows he can do it. He's almost there. Chip damage is going to be a factor. Meter almost gone. There it is. Oh my goodness. The stories are out of control in this tournament. If you've never been with us before, this might not seem like that big of a deal. 
but you do not understand what this tournament victory means to Fahadokan right now. <laughs> My goodness, it's this is this is the second player of this tournament that Fahadokan beats in tournament for the first time. So you have to wonder what this could mean in store for him as he keeps going in this. But.